Welcome to Functional Data Structures and Algorithm video course by Pact Publishing. I'm Mark Thomas and I'll be the presenter for this course. Atul S. Kot grew up in Marathwada, a region of the state of Maharashtra in India. A self-taught programmer, he started writing software in C and C++. A Linux aficionado and a command line guy at heart, Atul has always been a polyglot programmer. Having extensively programmed in Java and dabbled in multiple languages, these days he's increasingly getting hooked on Scala, Clojure and Erlang. Atul is a frequent speaker at software conferences and a past Dr. Dobbs product award judge. In his spare time, he loves to read classic British detective fiction. He's a foodie at heart and a pretty good cook. Atul someday dreams of working as a master chef, serving people with lip-smacking dishes. He was the author of Scala Functional Programming Patterns, published by Pact Publishing in December 2015. The book looks at traditional object-oriented design patterns and shows how we could use Scala's functional features instead. Raju Kumar Mishra is a consultant and corporate trainer for big data and programming. After completing his BTEC from the Indian Institute of Technology, ISM Danbad, he worked for Tata Steel. His deep passion for mathematics, data science and programming took him to the Indian Institute of Science, IISC. After graduating from IISC in computational science, he worked for Oracle as a performance engineer and software developer. He is an Oracle certified associate for Java 7. He's a Horton Works certified Apache Hadoop Java developer and holds a developer certification for Apache Spark, O'Reilly School of Technology and Data, and Revolution R Enterprise certified specialist certifications. Apart from this, he's also cleared financial risk management, FRMI exam. His interest in mathematics helped him in clearing the CT3 actuarial science exam. Functional data structures have the power to improve the code base of an application and improve efficiency. With the advent of functional programming and with the powerful functional languages such as Scala, Clojure and Elixir becoming part of important enterprise applications, functional data structures have gained an important place in the developer toolkit. Immutability is a cornerstone of functional programming. Immutable and persistent data structures are thread safe by definition and hence very appealing for writing robust concurrent programs. How do we express traditional algorithms in a functional setting? Won't we end up copying too much? Do we trade performance for version data structures? This course attempts to answer these questions by looking at functional implementations of traditional algorithms. Let's get started with the course. The first section, Why Functional Programming, takes you on a whirlwind tour of the functional programming FP paradigm. We try to highlight the many advantages FP brings to the table when compared with the imperative programming paradigm. We'll discuss functional programming's higher level of abstraction, being declarative and reduced boilerplate. The next section, Building Blocks, covers the basic concepts in algorithms. We talk about the big O notation for measuring algorithm efficiency. We discuss the space-time trade-off apparent in many algorithms. We next look at referential transparency, a functional programming concept. The third section, Lists, shows how lists are implemented in a functional setting. You'll look at the concept of persistent data structures in depth here, showing how efficient functional algorithms try to minimize copying and maximize structural sharing. Post that in the section binary trees, we'll discuss about binary trees. We'll look at the traditional binary tree algorithms and then look at binary search trees. The last section, more list algorithms, shows how the prepend operation of lists is at the heart of many algorithms. Using lists to represent binary numbers helps us see what lists are good at. We also look at greedy and backtracking algorithms with lists at the heart. For this course, you need to install the latest versions of Scala and Clojure. So let's begin this wonderful journey together, and I hope to see you there.